there are some fab trends this year that are definitely worth taking a closer look at. Not only because they are super cool, but they're pieces that you can wear and love for years to come. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. Now, before we get started with today's episode, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of this video and that is Urban Revivo. If you haven't heard of Urban Revivo before, they're a trend-focused fashion brand that drops new styles every single week. Now, the key here is that you need to be fast to get those styles. They don't actually produce huge runs. So if you like something, you need to get in quick and order it. This is a new season Urban Revival dress that I'm wearing today. I'll put a little bit of e-roll in here and show you what it looks like, but it is an absolute favorite of mine. I love the fact that it is black because that just means that I can wear it for years to come and it doesn't sort of date it. Now, if you've been watching me here for a while, you'll also know that I'm not a huge fan of cutouts, but this one has a tiny sliver of a cutout in the back, which gives it a little bit of breathing space for those warmer spring summer days. And it also just adds a little bit of interest to this dress. Now, this is just one of the pieces that I ordered from Urban Revivo recently. I do have some others here to show you, and I wanted to do a little bit of a try on to highlight some of these trends and share them with you so that you can see exactly how you can not only wear them to update your looks and your outfits this year, but you'll be able to see the versatility of these pieces and how they'll be good pieces to own for years to come. I'm also delighted to say that the team at Urban Revivo have given me a 10% discount to share with you guys off absolutely anything on their website. Now, all you need to do is whip on over to Urban Revivo. I will leave the link in my description box below. Use my code STYLEIN and that will save you 10% off your purchase. Now, that code is valid for two weeks from the date of this video going Going live so that one's gonna be easy to work out but I will leave all of those details below so if you like anything you see like the dress that I'm wearing or any of the pieces that I'll feature later on in today's episode then definitely take advantage of that offer the pieces from Urban Revivo that I currently own are beautiful the quality is beautiful yes you may pay a little bit more but believe you me that quality is definitely worth it so Take advantage of that discount offer, all the details below. Now let's get on with today's episode. Now first up I want to talk about denim maxi skirts and these are definitely the skirt of the year. If there is one trend that is taking over, it is denim maxis. Now they do come with a few little problems in terms of styling and choosing the right denim maxi is the key to nailing this look, certainly in my opinion anyway. Now one of the things that I struggle with with these denim maxis is that quite often the split is at the front of the skirt. Now this tends to highlight your knees, your, the focus is kind of drawn to your knees and I don't know about you, but my knees are not my most favorite body part, but there definitely are ways around this and ways that you can choose a denim maxi that will not only look on trend, but it will flatter your figure and it will also be a skirt that you'll wear and own and love and wear and own and love for years. I'm sounding crazy, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, take a look at these skirts that I've picked up from Urban Revivo, and I really do want to just share a couple of styling tips as to why these two are great. Now I'm loving this gorgeous maxi because one, it doesn't have a split anywhere, so there's no need to worry about covering up or hiding your knees. I also love the fact that the paneling detail gives it a super flattering look. It actually helps to elongate your body and that little bit of movement just makes it a little bit feminine. Now, as you can see with this skirt, the split is at the back and it has a gorgeous fishtail sort of shape to it, which is incredibly flattering. It kind of hugs you in all the right places. And that split is not too high, but it just makes it easy for you to actually walk and move around. As I said, the shape of the skirt is super flattering. I love that sort of fishtail effect. And I've just teamed it here with a white shirt. A skirt like this is versatile because you could easily dress it up or wear it more casually as I am here. And you can team a skirt like this with just about anything, including a leather jacket, a bomber, a blazer, and wear it with sneakers like I have here, or you could wear it with some little ankle boots or sandals. It'll work with a crop top, you name it. This is a goodie. I'm just wearing it with this t-shirt from Urban Revivo, and I particularly like this one because it's just got a little bit more interest as opposed to it just being a straight 
white t-shirt. I'm just playing with the, the cuffs here. I kind of like my sleeves a little bit cropped, a little bit capped. So I'm just kind of shortening them a little bit. But that detail at the front just adds a little bit of interest and gives the t-shirt a little bit of shape, which I particularly love. Now, one of the big trends this year is tailored shirts. Now, I know this has been a look that's been happening for the last few years, actually. And I definitely consider a tailored shirt a classic in any wardrobe. But there are a few things that you can look out for that can make not only wearing a classic shirt look modern and sophisticated, but keep it from looking too tailored and corporate-like. I think that's often the trap that we fall into with tailored shirts. They can tend to look a little bit like you're ready for the office as opposed to creating an outfit that is modern and chic. So take a look at a couple that I've recently picked up from Urban Revivo and I just wanna share a few very simple styling tips on how to actually get this look right. Now this shirt is anything but corporate in my opinion. It is oversized, which gives it that slightly Japanese-y kind of luxe look about it. I'm wearing it teamed with some wide leg trousers just to give it a very sort of easy, breezy, simple, minimalist vibe. So this shirt is not looking corporate because it is so oversized. On the flip side, this cropped shirt hardly looks corporate either, but it's still giving that nice, sleek, tailored look. This is oversized for me as well because that's how I like to wear my shirts, but you can kind of size it down a little if it makes you feel more comfy. And to mix things up a little bit, look for shirts with some interesting detail. So this one obviously has shape, so it's very much shaped in at the sides and in the lower back. It also has these extra long cuffs and the buttons only actually finish where I have it buttoned up, so it gives it nice shape. So look for those interesting little details that just give a bit of a wow factor. Now the next trend that is very much a happening thing this year is cropped tops. Now there are crops and there are crops. Not all crop tops are created even. And today I want to share with you how you can actually dip into the trend, but do it in a sophisticated way that also feels covered up and creates a lovely silhouette but without exposing too much skin if any. There is a way around it and let me show you how to do it. So crop tops don't need to be midriff bearing tops. I particularly love this shirt because it kind of lends into two different trends. The classic tailored shirt trend but also this one is cropped. As you can see, I'm loving the fact that this one's slightly oversized on me and it just means that I get that length in the sleeves. I really like my cuffs to be kind of falling in the middle of my hands there just so that it kind of, I don't know how you describe that, it just makes it look and feel a little better. So this, in my opinion, is a crop top. It is buying into and giving a nod to the trend, but you don't have to bear your midriff, which definitely suits me. I've just teamed it with the denim maxi skirt that I showed you just before. And as you can see with the maxi skirt, I've actually turned the zipper around. I've got that as a little detail in the front. I like the versatility there that you can sort of change it up a little bit. But the skirt is slightly higher waisted, which means that I can have a little bit of fun with a cropped shirt. I've got an outfit there which is seamless and really easy. I could also use this shirt as a cropped jacket as well, which would be super fun. Now I've talked quite a lot in recent videos about denim jeans and what is trending. And please remember that at the end of the day, the jeans that are trending for you are the ones that suit you and make you feel great. That's it, end of story. Whether it's skinny jeans, wide leg jeans, cargo style jeans, whatever makes you feel great is what is right for you. But when it comes to trends that are being seen out on the street or trends that you can expect to see in the stores, you will be seeing more and more of the kind of wide leg jean look. Now I know this style won't work for everyone, but because this is a trending look, I wanted to share a few simple tips and tricks to getting it right. Now wide leg jeans are obviously less restrictive than any other jeans, they're easy to move around in, and most importantly of all, they are universally flattering. They will truly suit every body type. Now, if you're worried about getting lost underneath that baggy denim, then just opt for a slightly fitted top. That will really help to provide a bit of balance and still allow you to show off your shape. 
And of course, one of the biggest trends for the season is cargo pants. And they come in all sorts of different types and styles, but I have found a pair that are not only on trend, but they're going to be timeless and they're easy to wear. And best of all, they are going to suit every single body type. So take a look at this. Now these cargo pants are by far the best I have ever found. Not only are they really comfy to wear, they're made of this really lovely silky lightweight fabric. As you can see here, I am totally enjoying wearing these. They also have this stretchy waistband, so a little bit of elastication at the back. So they are flat across the front, which is also really flattering, but that elastication around the back just makes them very easy to wear. I tend to like them a little bit on the looser side. I've got a size large here. Also, I need it for the length. As you can see here, they are only just long enough on me, but these are perfect. They are black, so they are going to be timeless. They're also easy to dress up, wear more casually, and you'll know that I absolutely love that. They've got a, a nod to the trend here with the big pocket details on the legs and, of course, pockets to put your hands in. This pair are amazing. Now, I know double denim is a trend that tends to scare a lot of you, but it really doesn't have to. It's not that scary. It's basically just a monochrome outfit. So it's a really simple outfit to pull together using timeless pieces that you love and own. So take a look at how I'm wearing my new pieces from Urban Revivo. One of the easiest ways to wear double denim is to change out the washes of the denim. So I've just teamed my darker denim maxi here with a lighter wash shirt. I really love this shirt. I love the sleeve detail. It's kind of got a slight bell shape to it and it's the perfect weight. So it works well worn on its own as a shirt, but it's also heavy enough to double as a very cool jacket as well. I'm just trying tucking it in here because it has this shape to it. It's an easy shirt to actually give a bit of a half tuck, which again sort of breaks up the outfit as well. But double denim is so easy and in my opinion, it looks really cool too. See this shirt, it's just such a winner. The other styling tip that I use to wear double denim is to sometimes just break it up. And what I've done here is I've just teamed it with a simple white tank and I've got the shirt over my shoulder, but equally it looks just as good worn with these jeans and it just gives your double denim outfit a little bit of breathing space. So as you can see here, the white just breaks it up a little bit and I'm just teaming that with the white crossbody purse. And I really love this look. I think it's effortless, it's chic, it's also on trend right now, but these pieces separately can be worn for years to come. Okay, you saw earlier that this dress that I'm wearing today does have a little cutout detail. Now, this is probably as far as I'm prepared to go when it comes to this trend, but cutouts are a huge trend this year. And you either love them or you don't. And for me, I'm kind of on the fence about them, which is why I don't really like to take the trend too far. But this cutout that is on the dress that I'm wearing today is not too far. It's just a simple nod to the trend. And because it's not too far, it does mean that this piece is one that I'll be able to wear for years to come. So take a look at this dress in its entirety. It is an absolute beauty and I'm really loving it. I love the fact that I can dress it up and wear it more casually too. So it's a very versatile piece for me to own. And when it comes to pieces that can be worn casually or more dressed up, you can't go past a pair of wide leg pants. Now, I know wide leg pants have been happening for a couple of years now, and the truth of the matter is they're not going anywhere. So if you have been tempted to try this trend, now is a very good time. Now, if you're looking for a perfect pair of pants to minimize your hips, then this is them. A pair of wide leg pants like wide leg jeans will suit absolutely everybody. I am in love with this pair. They are the perfect neutral in my opinion. I've just teamed them with my New Balance trainers here and a simple black tank, but this pair are lightweight and they are absolutely divine. They are the perfect length for me too because I don't like them dragging on the floor. Now, if you want a pair of perfect wide leg pants without pleat detailing, then this pair are amazing. They've got a slight stretch to the fabric so you can wear them a little bit more firm fitting, but they're not gonna be uncomfortable. As you can see here, they're a really good fit. They're figure hugging, but not tight. They're also a little bit lower waisted as well. For you girls out there that like a slightly lower waist. 
And as I mentioned earlier, monochrome dressing is a very simple way to pull together an outfit and pair pieces that perhaps you weren't sure of putting together, but because they are in the same color family or in the same shade or tone of color, you can be guaranteed that this look is going to work. So monochrome dressing is very much a happening thing for 2023, but in my opinion, it's a classic style and when I'm struggling to put together an outfit, I'll always go to a monochrome outfit because it's seamless, it's flattering, and it just, in my opinion, always looks good. So yes, it's a trend for this year, but in my opinion, it is one that can be pulled out and worn whenever you need something to just look good and look chic without trying too hard. But let's have a look at how I'm styling a couple of outfits now. Okay, I'm wearing my favorite wide leg pants and I actually ordered this cute little vest from Urban Revivo, but unfortunately it was too small. I ordered a medium and I actually needed a large. So I'm kind of showing you here how cool this outfit would have looked if this vest fitted me. But this, in my opinion, is a very modern, easy monochrome look. Also, when it comes to monochrome dressing, you don't have to wear pieces in the exact same shade. So as you can see here, these pants would also work with a white shirt or a white t-shirt. Monochrome is really just thinking about the same tones, not exactly the same color. And that is why the white will work. And this off-white shirt also works. Now those colors are not the same, but they are a similar tone. So wearing them together is actually going to work. This shirt's a real goodie because it's actually got some built-in shape. So let me show it to you on because it is worth looking at. So as I said here, this is a really nice look, teaming the shirt with the wide leg pants. I'm just wearing it here with my denim maxi, just so you can kind of really see the shape in this shirt as well. Another big trend this year is being called white out and essentially it's a bit of a nod to the monochrome dressing but it is wearing white. Now I know that this can be a trend that scares people because it's sometimes not over practical to wear all white but also it is a trend that it's important to find the white that works for you because obviously there are uh, lots of different options when it comes to white. There are crisp, clean, blue-based whites and there are slightly more warm whites. So when it comes to wearing white and especially all white outfits, it's about finding the white that works for you. And speaking of white, I always think it's super handy to own a white purse or crossbody bag. Now, this little one is super cute. I love the fact that it's versatile and can be worn as a little purse to carry, or it can be worn as a crossbody bag. That versatility just makes pieces like this really helpful. And I think what often happens in the spring, summer is that we tend to just carry over our handbags and purses that we have been wearing all year. But sometimes you need something that's a little bit lighter because a dark color can weigh down a spring summer outfit. So if you haven't found a beautiful white purse in the past, then now is a good time to consider adding one to your lineup. They are super versatile. And as I said, they're the perfect piece to wear with some of your favorite spring summer outfits. So if you are into the all white trend, great. If not, maybe just consider updating your outfits with a cute little white purse. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.